Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about dividing polynomials using long division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is just part one of our video class because I will give four examples for you to really understand how to divide polynomials. So in the parts of our video, this will be the examples. So we are told to divide this equation. Now in part one and part two class, we don't have a remainder for this number one, two, three, and four examples. And I will also make a video for part three in which we will have a remainder. And what will be the thing that we will do if we have a remainder? All right, so let's focus first in dividing polynomials without the remainder. So let's start with number one. Now before answering this one class, you check first the degree or the exponent if, it, if it's a range. Okay, if the given equation, the degree is a range. So we have cube, x cubed, x squared, then x. Understood that x here has an exponent of 1. And then the last term will be the number. So it's already been arranged. So therefore, we can divide this polynomial. Alright, always remember this one class. You check the arrangement class if the degree is already arranged. So you can write this one as x plus 4. Then divide. Okay, so this is 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 3x minus 4. Alright, so first thing class is you need to divide the leading term divided by this first term, x. Okay, 2x cubed divided by x. So once again class, divide this one. 2x cubed divided by x. So let me show the solution. 2x cubed divided by x. Of course, understood that there's one here for x. So any variable class, if you didn't see any number, understood that the numerical coefficient is 1. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. x cubed divided by x. So once you divide class, the, the algebra expression, so simply subtract the exponent. So x cubed divided by x. So you can write that x cubed minus 1. So subtract the exponent because the exponent of x here on the bottom part is 1. So, 2x raised to the power of 3 minus 1. So, your answer is 2x squared. Alright, so 2x squared. So since your answer is x squared, you need to label this one in 9x squared. So, you put your answer here, 2x squared. Alright, so 2x squared. Now, once you get the answer, when you divide the leading term by x, you multiply class. So, 2x squared times x. 2x squared times x, that would be 2x cubed. Okay, I hope you see this one. 2x cubed. Alright, so and then you multiply 2x squared times 4. So once again, you divide 2x cubed divided by x. And our answer is 2x squared. We label this one. We align x squared in this x squared given. And then you multiply 2x squared times x. That would be 2x cubed. 2x squared times 4. That's positive 8x squared. Alright, and then you subtract. Now, since this is binomial, you put a parenthesis. So, you subtract this one. Alright. And then, we subtract. Now, when we subtract the integer class or polynomial, always remember the rules in subtracting integers and polynomial. You change the sign of the subtrahend and then you proceed to addition. So, this, our, this is our subtrahend. You change this sign. And we proceed to addition. That's the rule there, class. Always remember this one. When you subtract an integer or algebra expression, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then you will proceed to addition. Instead of minus, you proceed to addition. Alright, so we proceed to addition. This will be plus. And this is positive 2x cubed. It will be negative 2x cubed. And this is plus. This is positive 8x squared. It will be negative 8x squared. Alright, and then we combine, so 2x cubed minus 2x squared, so we can cancel this out. So you can cancel this out plus, because this is 0. Then you combine this one, 9x squared minus 8, so the positive 8, it becomes minus. So 9x squared minus 8, so 9 minus 8, of course, that's 1. x squared plus, when you subtract or add, just simply copy the literal coefficient, so copy x squared. 1x squared, or you can just write x squared plus. Understood that there's 1 here. And then you bring down 3x. Okay, you bring down 3x. So this will be positive 3x. Alright, and then you divide. So x squared divided by x. 
So this one divided by x. So x squared divided by x. Of course, understood that there's 1 here. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. x squared divided by x. Simply copy the variable x, then subtract their exponent. Understood that there's 1 here. 2 minus 1. So this will be 1x raised to the power of 1. Or you can write this one as x because understood that x here has a numerical coefficient of 1 and an exponent of 1. So the answer is x. Positive x. Positive x squared divided by x, that's positive x. Alright, and then once you divide, you get the product plus. You multiply. x times x, that would be x squared. x times positive 4, that's positive 4x. Alright, and then we subtract. Once again, we put parenthesis since this is binomial. We minus, subtract. Now, once again, rules in subtracting integers or algebra expression. You change the sign of the subtrahend. Then, you change the sign of the subtrahend. Then, proceed to addition class. Once again, when you subtract polynomials, you change the sign of this subtrahend. This is what we call subtrahend class on the bottom part. You change this sign and then you proceed to addition. So this becomes plus, and then you change this, and this is positive, it will be negative. This is positive, you change this sign, it will be negative. I hope you got that one, guys. Okay, so this is, subtract this one, we can cancel this out because this is x squared minus x squared, that is 0. So you can cancel this out. And then, positive 3x minus 4x, so positive 3 minus 4. So once again, if the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So 4 minus 3 is 1, and 4 is greater than 3, so that's that's why we have negative 1. So this will be negative x. Copy negative x plus. Because understood that there's 1 here, now for the variables, you simply copy x, so that's why we have negative x. Negative 1x or negative x. Then you bring down 4, negative 4 and then we divide so negative x divided by x so let me just use here so negative x negative x divided by x so negative x divided by x so of course understood that there's one here so 1 negative 1 so once again class always remember that in x in negative x, understood that there's 1 here. You can write it negative 1x or negative x. So, of course, we know that there's 1. So, 1 divided by 1, negative 1 divided by 1. That's negative 1. x divided by x simply cancel. You can cancel this out less. So, the answer is negative 1. Minus 1. Alright, and then you multiply negative 1 times x. That's negative x. Negative 1 times x class. That's negative x. Negative 1 times 4, that's negative 4. And then we subtract. Of course, once again, do not forget, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then you will proceed to addition. That's the rule there, class. Change the sign of this subtrahend, proceed to addition. Alright, so change the sign. This will be positive. This negative will be positive. This negative will be positive. So, we can cancel this out because negative x plus x, that is 0. So, you can cancel this out. And negative 4 plus 4, that is 0. Cancel this out. And this will be 0. So, we don't have the remainder class. So, this will be our answer class. 2x squared plus x minus 1. I hope you got this one class. This will be our answer. 2x squared plus x minus 1. Alright, that's the answer for number 1 class. Easy, right? Alright, let's try number 2 class for you to really understand this one. So, once again, you copy 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3. Then divide. Now, check this one class. You have x cubed, but you don't have x squared. Okay, once again, 8x cubed plus 27 divided by 2x plus 3. You have x cubed. You don't have x squared. You don't have x, the linear term. And you only have constant. So therefore, so 8x cubed, you don't have x squared. You don't have this one. The quadratic term, we know that this is quadratic term when the exponent is 2. And you don't have the linear term. x with the exponent of 1, we call it linear term. 
and you only have this 27 the constant the number is alone that's what we call the constant so therefore you can write this one plus if you don't have the exponent of 2 the quadratic term the, you don't have the linear term you can just write 0 plus so you can write this one as okay, let me just let me just put it here plus 2x plus 3 then 8x cubed so if you don't have the quadratic term you can write plus 0x squared so that's the thing that you will do class if you don't have the quadratic term the highest exponent is 3 you don't have x squared you don't have x raised to the power of 1 so plus x uh, no, plus 0x raised to the power of 1 and then plus 27 positive 27 so we can erase x raised to the power of 1 understood that there's one here so that will be the thing class that you will do since we only have x cubed so next will be x squared then x then the number and then you divide plus you divide this one okay so 8x cubed divided by 2x so once again 8 divided by 2 divide the number 8 divided by 2 that is 4 x cubed divided by x so copy x then we subtract the exponent understood that there's one here 3 minus 1 that is 4x squared Alright, so for x squared, once again, this is x squared. You label, you align this one on x squared. So for x squared. Alright, once you get for x squared, you multiply plus. So for x squared times 2x. So for x squared times 2x. Now when you, when you once you multiply plus, you just simply add the exponent plus. So for x squared times 2x. So multiply the numbers 4 times 2. 8 x squared times x that would be x cubed understood that there's one here so when you multiply copy x then you will add the exponent that would be x cubed when you divide you subtract the exponent when you multiply you add the exponent that's the rule there class okay i hope you remember that one when you divide you might you subtract the exponent when you multiply you add the exponent so this will be 8 x cubed all right and then 4x squared times 3, 4x squared times 3, that would be positive 12x squared times none, copy x squared. So 4 times 3 is 12x squared times none, copy x squared. Then we subtract, you put parenthesis, then minus. So once again, when you subtract, you change the sign of this subtrahend, then we proceed to addition. Right, this is minus, this becomes positive, this is plus, then you change the sign plus. This is positive, it will be negative. And this is positive, it will be negative. Alright, and then you can cancel this out because this is 0, 8 minus 8x cubed. That is 0. Cancel this out. And this will be 0x squared minus 12x squared. So this will be negative 12x squared. Then you bring down 0x. Positive 0x. And then you divide plus negative 12 x squared divided by 2x so negative 12 x squared divide 2x so negative 12 divided by 2 that's negative 6 x squared divided by x so subtract the exponent so 2 minus 1 so this is x 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 1 this will be negative 6x because 2 minus 1 is 1 and you can just simply erase 1 negative 6x so negative 6x all right once you divide you multiply so negative 6 times 2x so negative 6 times negative 6x times 2x that's negative 12x squared so negative 6x times 2x so negative 6x times 2x so negative 6 times 2 that's negative 12 x times x that is x squared because there is one here so you just simply copy the, the the base, copy x, then you will add the exponent. 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative 12x squared. Alright, and then this one, negative 6x times 3. Negative times positive is negative. Okay, negative times positive is negative. Then 6 times 3, that's negative 18. Then copy x, negative 18x. Alright, then you subtract. Once again, you put parenthesis because this is binomial. You subtract. Now, once you subtract, you change the sign. So, this becomes positive. This is negative. This becomes positive. This becomes positive. 
Alright, and you can cancel this out because negative plus 12, positive 12, that is 0. Cancel this out. And this will be 0 plus 18, positive 0 plus 18, that would be 18x. Then you bring down positive 27. Alright, and then you divide 18x divided by 2x. So 18x divide 2x. So 18 divided by 2, that is 9. x divided by x simply cancel. So positive 9. Alright, and then you multiply class. Positive 9 times 2x, that's positive 18x. Positive 9 times 3, that's positive 27. And then you subtract, you put parenthesis because this is binomial. And then once again, once you subtract, you change the sign. Change the sign of the subtrahend. This is negative, it will be positive. This is, neg this is positive, it will be negative 18x. This is positive, it will be negative 27. Alright, and then you can cancel this out because the negative uh, no, 18x minus 18x, that is 0. Then positive 27 minus 27, that is 0. You can cancel this out. So this will be 0. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you solve. That's how you divide polynomials. You divide, then you multiply, you subtract, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then you will proceed to addition. Alright, this is just part 1 class. I will put the link in the description down below with regards to the part 2 of our video. Once again, I hope you liked the video and you learned something new today. If you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!